All right, guys, what is going on? My name's Jacob. Welcome, one and all, to episode one of my brand new series. I'm extremely excited to bring you guys. It's called One Year of Games. We're at day one today. It's eight o'clock in the morning. The date is Sunday, the 14th of August, 2016. And first of all, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a backstory as to why I'm doing this um, and, and what I hope to achieve out of it. So first of all, guys, I'm 25 years old. Um, I've been lifting for about six years now. Come two and a half years ago, at the start of 2014, I was 102 kilograms and the strongest I'd ever been. That was after you know lifting for probably about four years, but putting in real conscious, consistent effort for the last two of those. So I found myself at 102 kilo. I cut down to around about 90. And since that point, so that was in, in about April of 2014, it's August of 2016 now, so for the last literally two and a quarter years, I've been going from 100 down to 90, back up to 98, down to 90 again, back up to 96, down to 88, up and down, up and down. I bulk way too fast, I put on too much fat, I start looking in the mirror after 12 weeks and think, I'm looking too soft, I wanna lose some weight, I then go on a cutting phase, I don't do it fast enough, so I tend to you know, plateau and stay at plateaus for a long time. Basically guys, what's happened in the last two and a half years is I've made absolutely no strength gains. And that is because of the fact that I just cannot stick to a bulk. So what this series is gonna do guys, it's gonna show you guys an insight into how I structure my daily routine to build muscle around working obviously, I've got a job, you know, I've got a normal life, I have to pay a mortgage, I've got to pay bills, mate, I've got to cook my own food. All of that shit is going to be included in this series. I really hope you're going to enjoy it. The way I'm going to structure it is I'm going to have full days of vlogging. So today is day one. I don't know when the next day will be. It might be day two, it might be day four, it might be day seven. I'm really not sure, but this is going to be one full year of gains. Day one today on August the 14th or August the 13th next year, 2017, that is going to make 365 days of gains. And I ain't stopping, man. I ain't stopping. I need this series to keep me accountable. I really want to bring out this series so I can have something to look back on in the future, a proper constructed series that is going to bring viewers, it's going to bring new subscribers. And I really hope you guys enjoy it because, you know, series like Rich Piana's Bigger by the Day, Christian Guzman's uh, Summer Shredding, you know, things like that. I really enjoy them, to be honest, and I want to start bringing out videos that I think other people will enjoy and videos that I'd enjoy to watch. So I hope you guys follow along. If you haven't seen me before, welcome to the channel. For all my loyal subscribers, welcome to my brand new series. I hope you've been enjoying the content lately, but this is going to be how I'm structuring my videos for the coming you know, weeks and months. And come a year's time, let's hope I've made some real, real progress because as I said, there's been too much stopping and starting, too much yo-yoing. I know how to cut weight, I know how to drop body fat, and I know how to build muscle, both very effectively. It's just I can't stick to one or the other for any fucking long period of time to make actually any decent gains. So like I said before, this is one year of gains. Today is day one. We're gonna start with my favorite workout, which is legs. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I train my legs. I have come from being in a caloric deficit, so I'm sitting at around about 90 kilograms right now. My first goal weight will be 100. I'm hoping to get to that weight in around about six months. So we're talking, you know, probably about two kgs per month, if not a little bit less. So a pound a week maximum. Um, in the past, I've put on you know a kg a week for 10, 12 weeks in a row, and all that happens is I just put on a shitload of fat and not much muscle. So this time, I'm going to put a real focus on structuring my nutrition properly, like I know how to do. I know how to do it. I've made videos on it. You guys, you know, you guys may have seen those videos, but sometimes it's the case of do what I say, not what I do, and now it's going to be a case of do what I do and what I say. So without further ado guys, I'm going to crack into it. I'm going to make up a pre-workout drink and I'll see you guys at the gym. 
All right, guys, we are here at the gym, Anytime Fitness, Alice Springs, which is my local here in Alice Springs. Um, if you didn't know before, that's where I live. It's right in the middle of Australia. If you watch the weather map and you see the Australian weather, if they've got a number right in the center of Australia, that is exactly where I live. And if you're ever coming through, be sure to stop by Alice Springs Anytime Fitness, which is where I train. Um, I've trained here for about two and a half years and it's a great little gym. It's not, it's not big, but it's got everything I need. It's got the, you know, the usual Anytime Fitness equipment, which is all really nice. It's all unilateral, uh, plate loaded stuff as well as pin loaded. And it's got good cardio machines with, you know, TVs and USB ports and things like that. Not that I spend a lot of time on cardio machines. If I do decide to do cardio, I usually like to take it outside. Uh, but with that being said, guys, got my pre-workout, got my hat. I don't know what it is about training in a hat. Um, no one's really asked me, but I'd say probably 90% of the workouts that I've done over the last three years, I've worn some sort of hat. And I really don't know. I think most of it stems from me not really liking my hair. But as you can see, at the moment, I'm actually growing it out so I can tie it back. So that's another thing you'll see make some gains over this next year. Will not only be my muscle mass, but also my hair. So I can't wait for that. I've got my knee wraps, which I only pretty much use if I go over 100 kgs on squats or if I, you know, really load up the leg press with heaps of weight. Um, they're not absolutely necessary. I believe that the lesser weight, better form, you know, slower tempo is a lot more important than heavy weight. I never really do sets under five reps. If I amp that, you know, the lowest sort of rep range I'm ever gonna do is five by five, unless I'm really trying to test my one rep max, which I would do probably a maximum of, you know, once every three months or something like that. Lately, I've actually been preferring uh, doing box squats as opposed to normal uh, barbell back squats because I think I was actually going a little bit low on my uh, normal barbell back squats. And what that was doing was taking the tension off my quads and you know, basically putting a shitload of pressure on my knees. So putting the box there, or what I normally use is just a bench, a flat bench. I put the bench there, I just tap my ass on it when I when I get to the bottom, go back up, tap my ass on it. I'm Honestly, I'm not getting, I may be getting the most minute sort of spring back from, you know, bouncing off the, um, bouncing off the bench, but it is, it's pretty much nothing. And what that allows me to do is to have the same movement pattern every single rep, it stops at the same point every single rep, and it allows me to have a great workout. I'm really, really enjoying the box squat at the moment. So, with that being said guys, I'm actually gonna start on the box squat as my big compound movement for this leg workout. From there, I don't know where I'm gonna go, but you guys are gonna see. First of all, I'm gonna do some stretches and some dynamic uh, warm-ups, and then we will be into lifting some tin, smashing some weights, which is my favorite thing to do. So let go. All right, everybody, what is going on? We're here with the first voiceover of the series, and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to structure the voiceovers and the workout footage and things like that, how I'm going to, you know, if I'm going to put music to the background or if I'm just going to talk with no music like I am now. I'd really like your guys' opinions because obviously the series is is for you and um, for you guys to learn and, and watch. So if if hearing me talk with no music is going to piss you off, then let me know. But either way, guys, we started off this leg workout with a big compound movement, which is what I do normally. Um, box squats today. I do do conventional back, uh, barbell back squats, but like I said previously, I feel like my movement pattern is really, it, it's nice and you know smooth and I don't take any tension off the quads in this movement, so that's why I like it. Constant tension through the movement, through any movement, whether that's legs, chest, back, arms, doesn't matter. Constant tension and good tempo is is key to me. So even when we go up to the, the heavy weight, which is 120 kilo here, I went for 60 kg for 20, 100 kg for 12, 120 kg uh, for 12, and I did five sets of that. So this is the second set, as you can see. Like I, like I mentioned in the previous clip, you know, I... I really did concentrate on whether I got 
uh, some assistance from tapping my ass on the on the bench like that. And the fact is, guys, is that yes, yes, I do get a tiny bit of assistance, and that's probably why I can lift more weight. Um, but like I said, the benefits far way, outweigh the negatives, and keeping the same movement pattern and keeping the tension on my quads is the most important thing to me. So anyways, one thing I do want to ask guys is um, tights in the gym. Tights in the gym, what is your opinion? Honestly, once I've got a leg pump, I want to get those fuckers out. I want to see them work. So yeah, I'm not really sure. I, 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 I don't think it's too bad to be honest, unless someone's looking at your dick. <laughs> um, but yeah, that doesn't happen too often. Uh, either way, guys, this was the last the last set of barbell back squats, and just just like I do with most of my last sets, I make it either a, a drop set or a triple drop set. This was absolutely no different. We went 12 reps at 120 kilo. I then dropped it down to 100, and I did another four reps, and then we dropped it down to 60, and I said, fuck it, I'm just going to do some front squats just to burn the shit out of my quads. Actually, the last rep of this entire set was probably the best rep. So I want you guys to check that one out. But either way, guys, after, after this big combine movement, I was, I was pretty fucked. I probably spent about 30 minutes in the squat rack altogether, um, giving myself, you know, enough time to rest between heavy working sets. Otherwise, you know, my rep count just goes down and down and down and I can't hit the same amount of reps which really fucks me off that's probably one thing I need to work on is actually taking good amount of rest times I'm always in a fucking rush I just want to get back into it and keep the pump going but if I want to hit the same amount of reps each set especially on the heavy ones I'm going to need to um, incorporate a proper you know rest schedule so anyways so I was pretty fucked after that set that was a real grinder uh, but that's what you got to do, man. Like, honestly, at this point, I'd spent half an hour in the gym. I'd my legs were fucked already, and I thought, you know, I, I'm on top of the world, man. I'm like, anything after this is just cake. So after the first exercise, we went over to a leg press. Now, because I pre-exhausted the quads on the squat, I didn't need to use as heavy weight as I normally do. So we've got 125 kilo on each side, and this is an example of a working set. Um, I did three warm-up sets, so one plate, two plates, three plates each side, and then I put another couple on, so we've got five 25 kg plates on each side. And I want to bring your attention to my form, you know, I'm coming down at a two second down, one second up sort of tempo. Uh, my feet are, are straight, they're quite close together, but they're not touching. I will vary that up, I will vary my, my foot placement, but because I'd already done the squat, I wanted something that... I could put my legs in a straight, uh, straight angle, which I did with the, with the, the leg press, and yeah, I really like my form on the leg press. I think that's a fantastic movement. Um, I wouldn't use it, you know, as my compound movement very often, but if I do want to pre-exhaust my quads on a leg press before I go into something like a squat, then I will. Today, I pre-exhaust them on the squat before I went to the leg press, and anyways. The last exercise, guys, is a leg extension. Leg extension, I have a love-hate relationship with. I do it for a few weeks, and then I'll take a few weeks off, because honestly, guys, if I'm hitting leg extension hard twice a week, or even once a week for a few weeks in a row, my knees will start feeling like shit. I don't know about you guys, but it's not the best for the knees. When I do do it, I make sure my feet are pointing to the outside, um, making sure that I am actually targeting the inner quad, the teardrop, or the VMR, I believe, because... If I have my legs facing frontwards, completely straight, it does tend to, you know, really hurt my knees after a while. So anyways, that was the voiceover. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the car post-workout. And we done. One leg workout in the books. Fantastic workout. I hope you guys enjoyed that voiceover. And right now, guys, I am going to head to the supermarket to get some food. My, my cupboards are pretty bare at home. Um, it's funny, you know, a week ago I was in a deficit, which meant I didn't want much food at home. Um, if I was hungry, that was a good thing because I felt like I was losing fat. And, you know, if I was full, that was a bad thing. That was a really bad thing because it meant that I'd overindulged and, you know, I shouldn't have. And it's crack up because, you know, <laughs> All that had to happen was me to tell myself, right, I'm bulking, 
and my mindset can completely change. So it's done a 180. You know, if I'm hungry now, it's a bad thing because I feel like I'm going catabolic. And if I'm full, it's not such a bad thing because I know that, you know, the food's going to be going to good use uh, because I'm training extra hard, you know, or just as hard as normal. But um, I'm trying to be in a surplus right now. So with that being said, guys, my, my pantry and my fridge are completely bare pretty much. So I'm going to go to the supermarket now. I'm going to pick up some, you know, bulk bulking foods so things that I use all the time I'm going to pick up in bulk because the last thing I want is is a bare pantry and a bare fridge I want food there on tap all the time good wholesome food sources good clean protein sources good clean carb sources and healthy fat sources so that's exactly what I'm going to do now I'm going to head over there it's about two minutes away get my food and I'll see you guys at home to show you what I got peace and boom here we have it just like that so, like I said guys, plenty of clean, whole food carbohydrate sources, as well as lean protein sources. Pretty much all of what you see right here is carbohydrates. Um, look, what have I got? We've got wraps, potatoes, bananas, English muffins, bagels, we've got wheat bix, oats, which is a staple of my diet, an absolute staple. Um, what can be classed as a protein source as well, we have baked beans and chickpeas. We've got honey to put on my oats, to put on sandwiches, bagels, things like that. If I want a low fat, high carbohydrate snack or meal, this comes in handy. As well as that, we've got plenty of vegetables. The freezer's packed full of veggies now. Um, and as far as protein goes, oh, we've got rice here too. Brown rice, white rice, basmati rice, it really doesn't matter. It's all the same to me. As far as the macros go, it's all the same. If you want a little bit more fiber, brown rice might be the way to go. But as far as, you know, just trying to get the carbohydrates in that you need, if I'm trying to hit four or 500 grams of carbs a day, I'm really not gonna worry about where or what type of rice uh, my carbs come from. But as far as protein goes, it's hiding back here. We've got kangaroo mints. So this is kangaroo steaks minced up. It's extremely low in fat and carb. So macros, serving size 150 grams. We've got 32 grams of protein, three grams of fat, and no carbs. So that is an absolutely fantastic source of protein. Um, you can mix up a big pot of, you know, chili con carne. You can mix up a big pot of spaghetti bolognese. You can make meat patties, which is what I tend to do. You know, you can do a lot, a lot of things with this. It's quite versatile because it is minced up. Um, with kangaroo steaks, they're extremely tough and hard to cook. So you've got to get in the mints like that. And as well as that, we've got chicken breast. Um, everyday chicken breast. Extremely low in fat, low in carb, high in protein, like you guys know. These are definitely two of my, you know, go-to protein sources. I know what I'm going to get with them. Um, turkey. When I can find it on special, I usually go with turkey breast as well. It's extremely lean and it actually has a lot more taste than chicken, um, but I can't find it every time. As far as fish goes, yeah, I like fish, I like seafood, but not as much as these white uh, bird type of meats and red meat. So that's it guys. This is my haul for today. I will be restocking the pantry and cooking up a post-workout meal because I still haven't eaten yet, I'm fucking starving. But um, what I'm going to show you guys in the next video, probably tomorrow, is some meal prep as well as another workout and whatever else happens because I've just done a night shift last night, I did a 12 hour shift, finished at 7 in the morning, went and trained legs, did some groceries, I'm going to have a really really nice and big post-workout meal and then I'm going to go for a rest. So. Until next time guys, I hope you have a great day, I hope you really enjoyed my first episode, I really enjoyed making it, and I can't wait to bring you guys episode number two tomorrow. So until then, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh.